So it appears that we're going to get a bit of a warm-up coming. I think it's going to be trying to work its way into spring temperatures. I think yesterday was the last of the real cold days. and Tomorrow I think we're going to be back up into the 50s. So I guess I'm about ready for winter to end. I don't know. It's not really been that bad. As much as I hate winter, well at least I used to hate winter, I've not had too many complaints about this. It's amazing. You live off grid, things are harder to do than just turning on your thermostat. You know, you got to start the fire. It, it just isn't that bad. You get used to the temperatures coming out here in the cold. I remember the the year that we started to come down here. What was that? Two years ago in January, we were parked our camper in Mom's yard to buy all the solar panels and stuff that we would need to get down here. The well pump. Just you know, we stayed there for maybe two months. It was so cold. And I was still trying to make videos. I'd have to go outside and make videos. And, oh, it was miserable. But I'm just not feeling it anymore. It's just got used to it, I guess. I'm going to feed the chickens some corn. They want to come outside, but I'm still worried about the, the bird flu. Boy, I tell you, the roosters are making some noise. I'm not sure which one it is either. I know it's hard to see through the... Oh, no, that's Frenchie. I saw him. <laughs> yeah, they're all producing eggs now I think so we got eight eggs yesterday we only got 14 we got 12 hens 14 chickens so they're, they're all producing so the other day I made a video about the a, a device called the Jackery it's a solar suitcase and it's just a battery with an inverter and a charge controller now in the comment section, some people said you can get solar panels with them, that comes with them. The one I looked at with the Jackery specifically, uh, I think they're called solar generators. I, I said suitcase. But my point was, I wasn't a big fan of them. I just don't see the point of them. And I felt like in that video, I gave all the reasons why I didn't think they were necessary for me to sell. I felt like it was uh, my ethics tell me then I shouldn't sell something that I don't agree with well I got a lot of feedback and basically was told that I mean a lot of feedback and I don't think it I mean they could be trolls I know trolls like to pretend that there's somebody important and they'll say things it could be trolls but I don't know if they were or not I think what happens is somebody owns an expensive item I've had this happen before in other videos I made they own something expensive you tell them, hey, there's a cheaper way of doing things, and in my opinion, a better way of doing things. And so they feel like they've been damaged. And instead of blaming themselves or blaming the company that sold them the piece of junk, they blame me for pointing out there was a better way after they already did it. Uh-oh. Chickens are upset about something. Don't know. They do that sometimes. They act like there's something going on down there. I don't know. I'll walk back down there. I can't walk here. The snow is falling off the roof. And it's making uh, the ground into a skating rink. So that roof, that, that's a bad thing about the metal roof is the sun's melting it even though the temperatures are freezing. So it melts the roof, lands on the ground, refreezes. It becomes a skating rink right there on the sidewalk. Not sure what they're upset about. But the point of the video was the system that I put together with solar panels, batteries, my own charge controller, is basically a solar suitcase. And I felt like I gave a lot of reasons why I thought it was better. First of all, it was just cheaper. Not poor quality, I'm not saying that, it's just cheaper. So the first thing they criticized was the lead acid batteries I buy my lead acid batteries from Walmart first first comment oh Walmart lead acid batteries are terrible I know I've got eight of them well then you don't know how to operate them I've had my batteries uh, here well the first one I owned we had a lead acid battery I bought from Walmart it lasted four years you got to know how to maintain them if you expect a battery to a lead acid battery to work if you get them below and I said this in the video, 12.3 volts, below 50%, 
they're gonna go bad they half the life so instead of being a 50 amp battery it's now a 25 amp battery or whatever the other thing is is every day you got to get your batteries up above 13 point i think four volts that means if you don't have sun that day you're gonna have to put it on a charger just for a little while even so you can get it up there to 13.4 volts i know everybody's big on lithium ion batteries and that's fine if you want to go buy a lithium ion battery yeah, you know, then by all means you should go buy it i just don't know them well enough i'm an old guy and i understand lead acid batteries very well so to suggest that i don't know what i'm talking about when actually i feel like i probably know what i'm talking about better because i'm recommending something that i understand it would be very hypocritical i think of me to to say hey go out and get yourself a, a lithium ion battery i have no idea how to tell you to operate it if you live in an apartment one person said i live in an apartment and i i use the jackery for backup well that kind of makes sense but i didn't say living in an apartment if you live in an apartment then that changes everything i live off grid so for me to sell you an off-grid item uh, i should be selling you solar panels or a berkey water filtration system you know something that <laughs> I use I don't use a jackery I would never use it if you live in a van somebody said well I live in a van and I, I have to have a jackery if you live in a van well fine you should have a jackery this is off-grid now the second thing I brought up in that video was the generator I love my little generator I've had three of them this is a champion 2000 watt inverter generator and it's cheaper than the Honda generator. Everybody talks about the Honda generator, which is what somebody said in the comment section. But I've owned three of these. The first one burned up in a fire. There was nothing wrong with it. Worked fine, and it was a yellow square thing. The second one was a yellow square thing. And I didn't run it for a month. And the gas chewed up the carburetor. I could have easily changed the carburetor, except we were on the road, we were nomads. And I wasn't able to stay in the area long enough for it to be shipped out to me. So we went to Tractor Supply Store and bought this. And this one has lasted four years. I use it every day for one reason or another. I mean, and I'm not gentle on it. it I change the oil when I'm supposed to change the oil. Probably a little bit more than I, I need to. But I run the well and I charge the batteries. I mean, I just, I'm always using it. Somebody said, no, you got to have a Honda. I only buy the best. Well, the Honda isn't the, I mean, Honda is, is twice as expensive as that one. And if you have a Honda, then fine, that's fine. But it's not that much better in my opinion. I mean, we had the yellow square one when they still made those. They don't make them. I don't think they make the yellow square ones anymore. We set a yellow square one right next to a Honda. And I couldn't tell the difference between the two. They both sounded about the same. Now they say the Honda is just a tad quieter but this one's 53 decibels i think or 56 uh, which is about the conversation level i don't understand why i'm going to pay double the price for a generator that i just abuse the heck out of i'm expecting it to fail all the time because i just use it so hard I, whereas with a honda i'd be afraid to ever touch it oh don't run the honda it's a thousand dollars whereas i can come out here and say well this was 400 I come out here, use it as a football, use it as a, a paperweight, use it as, it doesn't matter. I leave it out in the rain all the time. I mean, it's, it sits there all the time. That thing built the house. I ran it to power all the tools to build the house. And it's constantly being pushed to its limits with the well. So I'm not trying to sell you the generator. I'm trying to talk to you about living inexpensively. And not being afraid of using your equipment. Another thing I get criticized a lot about is the water tank setup I have here. Right now I got a tarp around it. People have suggested some very expensive things that I should do with this. But this what cost maybe 300 bucks? And it, it's worked fine. I mean, it's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with the way I store water. One of the things Carolyn mentioned earlier was. You know, if something really bad were to happen, you know, something hit the fan, you know what they talk about. 
I think I have the ability of being able to piece things together. MacGyverisms. I don't know. Did you ever watch the show MacGyver back in the 80s? I did. And just be able to piece things together, find some things laying around, and, and make something out of it. It's just a way of life for me. I don't even think about it. I don't see the point in spending a bunch of money experimenting, trying new things, when I can just use the stuff I got and put it together and make it work. Another example is, is my teeth. I have two fake teeth. I showed in a video one time how I make my own teeth. I didn't even take the teeth out of my mouth. I had this little casting that the dentist made in my mouth. And I made the teeth there, so it wasn't like it was disgusting or anything. But people absolutely hated that video. And of course, you know, they say, oh, you got to go to the dentist and get your teeth made. Well, I bought those flippers. I bet I went through a dozen of them, and they, they're like a $500 a piece. I mean, they're not cheap. And they'd break, and they were useless. And you're spending all that money all the time on them. Well, this plastic beads it and I, like I said I showed you how to make it before but I'm never gonna do it again I'll never show anybody how to make teeth as bad as the feedback was on that but the thing is is they work better than the dentist teeth for a few cents I mean that's all we're talking about I don't even know if it's a few cents the plastic I have a big jug of it probably spent 20 bucks and it takes like three little beads four beads five beads and if these teeth wear out or break or or anything I, I think the plastic on this tub I have now may be less quality because they tend to wear out a little bit quicker than the old ones the old ones never wore out but the, the plastic burned up in the fire so if you'll check out this up oh, next box that'll take you over my other channel I'd really appreciate it if you go check out those videos so I hope I can inspire you to live the life you want thanks for watching